All right, Kennedy Blades, Fargo champ. Uh, second year in a row, how are you feeling? Uh, great, that's awesome, that was the goal. Uh, your sister won one a couple matches before you. Was yeah. it pretty cool to watch that happen? Yeah, I well, I, I didn't really get to watch because I was too busy warming up, but um, I, I'm so proud of her. Um, so, really quick match. We were actually all back here and didn't and didn't catch it. Can you walk us through what happened? Um, well, I, I took a shot and then I we both bumped heads and I kind of fell off a little. And she like she rolled. It was it was I don't even know what it was. It was like a whole thing. And then um. I, I was on top of her and I just cradled him there. Right on. Uh, near side or, or head in the side? Or what, what kind of cradle? Oh, uh, it was a cross face cradle. Cross face cradle, yeah. gotcha. So, pretty crazy. You're competing in Cadet Worlds like next week, right? Yeah, well, so, two weeks. Two weeks. But, you know, still, can you talk about the decision to come to Fargo with that right around the corner? Well, um, I saw Fargo as more of a warm up just to get the just to get some competition in and um, like get the whole stage because I was hoping I would be in the finals <laughs> to have that experience. So. so you weren't worried about overtraining or you know no. wrestling too much? Yeah, I, I was just, um, I just wanted the feel. So. And so this is your first world team. Can you talk a little bit about that too? Um, well, I f yeah, I was really happy I finally made the world team because um, I tried last year and it didn't work out because Macy Kilty won. But, um, it's great, and my sister was on the U15 World Team, so we were both on the World. It was, it's awesome. And she brought brought home a title. So do you feel a little extra pressure because you know little sister went and did it? Um, yeah, well, not really pressure. I'm just like I, I see it more as like I'm, I'm just more proud of her, and it's my turn. Like I, I don't feel pressure. Did it make losing any easier when uh, Macy went and won a title? <laughs> just a little bit, because like I was like, yeah, she's the best in the world, and. It's not horrible to lose a world, to a world champ. So. Um, and can you talk a little bit about Wyoming Seminary and, and what you guys got going on there? Well, Wyoming Seminary, it's a great, it's a great rest. There's a great girls wrestling program, and my sister and I, we both help each other out because we don't live by our parents anymore. And I have great teammates along with Risa and Mendy that just won, and um, my sister and. A lot of other great wrestlers, and the academics is very high, but I it, I still manage. So you're on an all-girls team at SEM that a lot of girls don't get the opportunity to be on at uh, that level in high school. How would you feel, feel if there was an online platform dedicated just to covering women's wrestling? News? That would be awesome. I think yeah, that would be that would be great. Everyone would be updated, and it would just be that would be awesome. Do you follow follow college women's wrestling? Yes, like I, well, um, I, I do sometimes because I'm I'm more focused on just like I guess not not really myself but like um, training I guess. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, I want to give thanks to God because without Him, a lot of this opportunity wouldn't be here, and my dad and all my coaches and my sister and all my teammates. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Congrats.